We're working on it now. You'll have your shipment by the end of the week. You have three days. If I don't have it by then, there may be a leak to your American press. I'm sorry, but... Most unfortunate. Steven's men have the woman now. As soon as they get the plasma, they'll... What about Logan? There wasn't time. The UN peacekeeping forces had already arrived when... Another agency screw up. Do you have any idea how close your incompetence has come to killing us all? I am not responsible for the actions of my predecessor. Markinson was not in control. Markinson was your man. As Romer was yours. And what about Gregorov? You were supposed to keep the Russians away from the Farcom warehouses at Kazakhstan. <laughs> You're not going to blame me for your incompetence? The SVR is not under my control any more than Romer's terrorists were. Enough. We all have much at stake. Logan was one of our best agents. He has the highest level of training and years of field experience. It won't be easy. I see. Perhaps I'm not being clear. Success is everything, is it not, Mr. Cochran? It will be impossible to get the plasma from the woman as long as Logan is alive. <laughs> I think you overestimate Mr. Logan's abilities. You were given Mr. Fagan's job because you promised to have phase two of the virus ready in time. It's not my fault that Romer lost the girl before we could extract but the- like Markinson and Romer, you have failed. All right, look, I'm sorry that things didn't go according to plan, but- <laughs> You see, Mr. Stevens, a simple demonstration. Mara has proven her usefulness. Mr. Cochran has not. Logan will be taken care of. We will have the female's plasma soon. I have an army on the way to Colorado now, and my men are at the airbase with Leon Zing. There will be no more delays. You can take a break, airman. We'll be done in 10 minutes. I'll need to see your ID, sir. We're with FEMA. Do we need to refer to your commander? Uh, no, sir. We'll check on Fagan. You finish the other CBDC agent. Stevens wants us back in New York. Watch her. She's been unconscious for much longer than I would have expected. The virus should not have weakened her so much this early in its development cycle. I'll head over to the secure hangar and see if the F-22s are back for refueling and ordnance. No. You get over to the main gate and make sure our package gets through unhindered. I'll take care of the pilots personally. Let's see. Two bags of plasma ought to be enough. You won't feel a thing. Yeah! No. You're the one who won't feel a thing. <coughs> okay. Now let's find my gear. Doctor. Yes? Are you finished with him? I've given him the injection. It will take a moment for it to work. Morgan wants you to come check Fagan. I think the last of the serum bags are filled. Let me go check on Leon Singh first. No. Morgan said to come now. I told 
told you to get back. Why didn't you listen to me? We have a security break. I've relieved the guard. We won't be disturbed. Good. Doctor, is your work with him done? Yes, that's the last we need from him. We get the rest from Zing. Then let's tie up a loose end. Unplug him. Wait, I can still use him back at the lab. We still have not fully studied the long-term effects of the virus on certain genetic structures. I can use him to... My orders are to make Fagan disappear when you have finished extracting his plasma. The agency can't risk the government finding Farcom's CEO infected with an unknown virus. I see. And it doesn't help that he has Aramov's bullet in his brain, You does can it? use the girl for your other tests. Fine, if you insist. I'll call the New York labs and see if they're ready for us. I'll go with you. You go on ahead and check on the F-22s. Make sure they have the sarin canisters loaded and ready for a run on the survivors. I'll see what's keeping Holman. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. Let's go. We have
Buzz me out, Carter. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. Those government guys are giving me the creeps. Something's going on in there. Yeah, I know what you mean. They just brought up a couple of body bags, and I got a call from the CO saying the entire base has been quarantined and locked down tight. I'll be back up in a few. Gabe? Are you there? Uh, Gabe. Leon, where are you? Are you alright? Teresa? It's good to hear a familiar voice. I'm fine. They're holding me at some civil air base in Colorado. Where's Gabe? He's run into trouble. Transport's down somewhere in the mountains. Gabe's in trouble? Yeah, but what else is new? I think he's more worried about you than himself. Gabe knows better than to worry about me. Uh, Leon, are you okay? Uh, running on an adrenaline booster right now. Winding down fast. Get this information to him right away. He was right about Fagan. They were keeping him alive, incubating some new strain of the virus. Probably the same strain I'm infected with. They must have injected us both while we were imprisoned in the catacombs. Oh my god. I'm sure that's why they brought me here. They were using this airbase to fly infected test subjects in and out of the states, bypassing international quarantines. Hmm. The agency's also using it to shut down air routes all over the Rockies. <sighs> Makes for a good front. Tell Gabe that the agency lab complex is somewhere in New York. I'm gonna try to find out where. <coughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to get a chopper, and I'm gonna get out of here. Does Gabe have an evac plan yet? No, he's having me monitor agency radio traffic while he gets to the crash site. I think he's going to try to requisition a chopper there. Tell him not to. I'll give him a ride myself. Do you have his coordinates? No. We're ready to leave, Airman. Buzz us out. Yes, sir. <sighs> Never mind. I'll get him from the tower. I'm going to head over to the other infirmary and make sure the rest of the plasma has been properly refrigerated. Okay. Our F-22s are coming in now. As soon as I deal with them, I'll meet you at the tower. 